Noah's Ark! Yay! It's so great to be here and be able to still do this video even though we can't all meet together. Okay, we've got two special friends for you to meet today. Who's this, Grace? Froggy. Froggy, and who's this? Ducky. And they're the best of friends. Yay! Mr. Ducky is looking forward to singing the Hello and song. And Mr. Froggy looking forward to singing the Clap Your Hands song. Yeah, the Hello song. So why don't we hand over to Grace, Toby, Calvin and Bella and sing the Hello song. Okay, get ready, get on your feet and get loud, singing loud and proud and enjoy singing the Hello song all together. Your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet, stamp, 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 and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. It's good to see you. Hello. It's good to see you. Hello. That was great singing, everyone. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got some sad news, guys. Sad news. Okay, this is the final, it's the last Noah's Ark video. But you can watch them over and over again because they'll stay on your TV so your mummy and daddy can keep showing you them. And hopefully, as soon as we can, we'll be back together in real life to enjoy actual Noah's Ark. Woohoo! Okay. okay, this one, in this story, we've got an animal. There's an animal in this week's story, so I thought we'd play a little game to start off with. I'm going to do an impression of an animal, and you guys at home have to guess what the animal is. Okay, and Grace, you can guess too, but don't think it's a little too early. Okay, you ready? Animal number one. Okay, what's this? What's that animal? Can you do the impression with me, Grace? Ready? Wow, what's that animal? Okay, you got it? Shout it out. Okay, next animal. What's this animal? Nay! <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Let me guess it is. What's that animal? What animal goes? Nay! <laughs> it's a horsey. A horsey! Yay! Okay, what's this animal? What animal goes? I don't have an eye. What's that animal? It's a lion! Yeah! Okay, should we do one more? Grace, do you want to do one? Do you want to do an animal? Go on, yeah, do that. Yeah! What does that? What animal is that? It's a crocodile! Let go snap! 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 Yeah! Okay, so in the story, look out for the animal. It's a little teddy bear, but it's still an animal. Okay, we're going to do some more songs, led this week by Emmett and Selena, and his older sister as well. Okay, so enjoy these songs, join in, stand up, jump around, do the actions, and I hope you really enjoy them. See the sleeping bunny sleeping till noon. Shall we come and wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still are they ill? No. Hop, little bunnies, hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 little bunnies, hop, 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 and stop. We're going to do row, row, row your boat. So, Grace, you. William, give me a big pile and kick around. Why don't you come and sit here, and we'll be rowing our boat as a three, okay? And you can all join hands and row your boat with however many you've got in your house. And we're going to sing, um, in fact, well, you'll hear the different verses that we sing. Okay, ready, girls? Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget.
forget to roll. Can you roll? Okay, ready? And then next one we'll do a polar bear. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. And if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Okay, and the last one is our favourite. Ready? Rock, rock, rock your boat. Gently to and fro. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly. Over the side we go. Splash into the water, we all get wet. Little duck swimming, swimming one day. Over the hills and far away. Mama duck swimming, swimming said quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks swim, swimming one day. Over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack 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 and only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack 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 quack, quack and only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack 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 and only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack 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 but no little ducks came back. No little ducks were swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack 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 and all we find is right back. Well done guys, great singing. I hope you enjoy singing some of those Noah's Ark favourites. Now it's time for our story, the best part. So get comfy, get ready to listen, turn your listening ears on and um, maybe get a snack. Sit somewhere comfy and over to Christina and Jono for this week's story. Jesus once told the story of a man who went looking for treasure and found some fine pearls. Now I'm wearing pearls today, but I thought the girls and boys of Noah's Ark, they don't really care about pearls. And I thought if Jesus told the same story today, how would it go? And I think it would go a bit like this. So come in, come, come and see the story, come. There was once a toy collector called Jonathan and this toy collector traveled far and wide in order to find the best toys. And he had some pretty cool toys. The first toy he discovered was this Hot Wheels Loop the Loop Turbo Extreme. I mean, this was putting the toy standard pretty high. He declared, Wow! This toy is the best ever! The next day, however, he found a Super Booster rocket launcher that, lo that launched rockets high into the sky. Wow! Wow! He declared. This is the best toy ever. The next day, he was feeling a bit more creative and stumbled across a musical, noisy, plastic-free xylophone. Awesome, he declared. This is the best and most eco-friendly toy ever. But not satisfied just yet, he ventured into the kitchen where he persuaded his daddy to model a bow and arrow out of a balloon. No easy job. He was so chuffed, he did a little wiggly dance as he declared, now join in with me, wow, this is the best toy ever. The next day, he was keen for a bit of a challenge. So he decided to climb Mount Shed. He had to climb over the trampoline, which was a previous toy he collected. And then, oh, oh no, oh, he lost his footing. Oh, oh, oh great, he made it, he made it. He shuffled round the edge of Mount Shed onto a ledge. 
Finally, he made it to the slide. Well, he went down once and loved it so much that he had another go. And he exclaimed, everyone together, wow, this is the best toy ever. As you can see, this toy collector was a very good collector of toys and he had some pretty cool toys. However, one day he went on another journey. He climbed the stairs and went into his bedroom and then he saw it. Rabbit. It was love at first sight. He just had to have Rabbit. All of his awesome, cool, mega, super booster, extreme toys just faded away as he stared at this one toy. This one toy that was better than all the others put together. He ran to it, clutched it tight and gave it a big hug. But there was one condition. He had to give up all of his other toys to gain this one rabbit. But this rabbit was better than his Hot Wheels, his rocket launcher, his xylophone, his balloon, his trampoline and his slide. He didn't think twice. He agreed to give them all up. It was absolutely worth it. His rabbit made him so happy, he leapt for joy. His search was over. He had finally found the best toy in the world. Jesus says that being friends with him, knowing Jesus and having him as part of our lives is like this rabbit. Being friends with Jesus is more precious than anything in this world. And when we discover this, we are willing to give up everything in order to get this. Being friends with Jesus makes us truly happy. It is what we are all ultimately searching for. Thanks, Christina and Jono. Thanks so much for that amazing story and how you acted it all out. Jono, you've got some amazing toys, but you would give them all up for your rabbit. And that's just what Jesus is saying, that being friends with him is better than anything else. Okay, we're gonna do a craft to show us, to help us remember this week's story. And it's over to Zoe for this week's craft. Good morning, everyone. Do you remember what the toy collector's most precious toy was? That's right, it was a bunny. And that's what we're going to make today. This is what he's going to look like, and this is what you're going to need. You'll need card, whatever color you like, glue, scissors, pencil, and some pens. Let me show you how you make this. First of all, you pick the card that you want. I think I'm going to go for this flowery card. And then you turn it over and you draw around your hand. The next thing you do is you'll probably need an adult's help. And that is we're going to cut around the fingers, but cut off that middle one. Here we go. off the middle one okay now if we turn him over we can fold over his paws like this one two then you can see from the one I made earlier there's some fun things that we get to add so I'm gonna add some googly eyes and also a nose. The easiest way to do this is just to cut off the corner of some paper and stick it on. And then you've got some whiskers to add, paws and the inside of the bunny's ears. And there you have it, a precious 
funny. Hi everybody! We're going to sing you two songs and I hope you can all join in. They're hot cross buns! Do you want to hold a hot cross bun? Maxie, do you want to hold a hot cross bun? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Um, where's my date? I don't know where your date. Oh, there's your date. Okay, I'll do it. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Wave the buns. I'm going to just put that up there. And this song is all about froggies. So look at this. So we'll do two little speckled frogs. Mm, two little speckled frogs, ready? You've got to make them jump, all right? Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Can you go yum, yum? Yum, yum. yum. One jumped into the pool, splash, where it was nice and cool. Now there was one green speckled frog. Show them your frog. Okay, can you jump that frog? One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, splash, where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. learned so many things about Jesus haven't we let's see if we can remember all the different things that we've learned and they'll help us remember by showing us some of the crafts that we've made over the last few weeks the first one was about the builders they were building their house and it's really important to listen to Jesus just like a wise man builds his house on the rock then we heard a true story about Jesus in a boat with his friends in a huge storm and he just said shh and the storm stopped. How can he do that? Because Jesus is God. And then we heard about the man whose legs didn't work. Jesus met him and he said, actually his and all of our biggest problems is that we aren't friends with God because our hearts aren't very nice. Being friends with God is even more important than having legs that work. And then we saw that Jesus comes looking for us, just like a shepherd would look for a lost sheep. And he's so happy when he finds us, he'll have a party with balloons. And Jesus will be friends with anyone, no matter how bad, just like that man Zach up the tree. And when we come back and say sorry, he isn't cross. He is so happy when we want to be friends with him, just like the story that we have with Percy and his daddy. So of course, just like Jono loved his rabbit more than anything else, being friends with Jesus is the best thing ever. Oh guys, it's been so fun doing all these videos and doing Noah's Ark together, even in lockdown. Thanks for um, watching them, I hope you've really enjoyed them. And if you have, if your children have enjoyed them, then I couldn't recommend more coming to St Peter's when we're all back together and we can live life normally. Come and join us on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. There's great, um, kind of a, a great kids lot at the start. There's action songs, it's lively, it's fun. And then there's some adult time as well. And the kids have great children's groups to go to. So um, whenever it starts again, we'll let you know. Come and join us, Sunday's at 10. Anyway, we're now gonna say goodbye. So bye from me, bye from my girls, and uh, the rest of the team will say goodbye as well. Bye. Bye, Nosa. Goodbye, Nosa. Goodbye. goodbye, we've had so much fun. We've really enjoyed um, all the filming and videos. We hope you have too, and hopefully see you in September in the summer. Bye. Goodbye, guys. We're gonna miss you. We've had so much fun doing our Noah's Ark videos for you. And we've loved seeing you on the streets. Um, we're going to really miss you. Have a lovely summer. We and are God going bless. to Atticus's house. <laughs> okay. Bye.